Hello Aquarius, it is the Sun Sage and thank you so much for tuning into your May reading. This is for those of you who are Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Venus or Rising and those of you who are cross watchers connected to Aquarius, this can resonate for you as well. Um, take what resonates, leave what doesn't guys. These are general messages, all right? Um, for information on how to book a personal reading with me, check out the details in the description box. Um, the information is there, the website, the sunsage.com. All right. Um, so let's see what's going on for you guys in May. All right. Aquarius, you have been showing up in everybody's reading, <laughs> uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Gemini, Libra. You guys have been in everybody's reading so far. So let's see where this goes. Uh, let's see what's going on for you guys. One message, please. Okay, I got two. I'll take it. Um, thank you so much. So you guys have patience and contentment. This feels like you are accepting something, okay? This feels like you guys are not dwelling on things. You are not stuck in the past. I feel like you are refreeing yourself, letting yourself be content and comfortable in your current position while you think about ways to elevate and um, improve things in your life to um, uh, manifest abundance. This feels like a very peaceful energy, right? So in May, you guys will feel very peaceful okay you guys feel like you have this calm surrounding you um some of you will be taking up um yoga meditative um uh practices uh things that soothe and calm your body maybe water exercising here you're very content okay you're very appreciative you're very grateful and i feel like um you are having some a good energy surrounding you because you've put that out there. And also because I feel like you guys, like everybody else feels like they're cutting people off, cleaning things up in their life. You guys may have already gone through that. So you're just enjoying the peace right now. All right. So let's see what's coming through for you guys the month of May. Let's see what we have for Aquarius the month of May. Yeah, this is you guys, mother of wind creativity, more time to focus on your creative pursuits, more time to invest in your hobbies. That's, that is what I pick up. Yep. More creativity, child of fire, creative spark. Um, some of you are artists and I feel like this is a good month for you to create. Okay. You feel very peaceful right now, Aquarius. You feel like you're in a good place create. You're inspired. You're amused. You have a muse. <laughs> you know, this is the time for you. What else do you guys have? Um, 10 of wind illusion. For those of you that are artists, painting what you feel your reality is may turn out to be something that a lot of people can actually relate to. That's just the message that came through. Um, and that's, you know, I'll leave that there. We'll get into that illusion and what it is. But um, I do feel like there's something here about um, your experiences, the things that you've gone through. This can even be for writers, singers, rappers, those of you that have gone through a great deal. It feels like painting that art on a canvas as to what that looked like for you or writing those words in poetry or in some way is something that a lot of people will relate to and something that could bring in some abundance um, financially. So because abundance doesn't just have to be about money, right? It doesn't just have to be about success, but abundance is a wealth of things that bring you luxury and, and, and ease and that bring you peace. And it feels like you guys are at peace in the month of, in the month of May. So starting with the mother of wind creativity, um, you guys are very creative. You're getting more creative. You're buying the paint set. You're investing in the canvas. You're doing something, right? Even if this is nothing to do with art, uh, as we know it, you guys could look at, you know, your profession as art, right? You could work at a, a office, but what you do there is art. What you do there is something that contributes to the space. So I feel like a lot of you are contributing to your environment in a very creative way. A lot of you are known as the creative person. <laughs> um, you know, somebody needs a poster, somebody needs a, you know, um, I even feel like this is those of you wanting to run for office. I don't know where that came from, but the creativity here about posting banners and billboards, something here, you guys are thriving. Whatever causes you to create, whatever your ideas are, it feels like it takes off in the month of May. Um, some of you have a creative parent, a creative mom who you get your skills from. 
they could be an air sign too, Gemini. Um, we have a knight of coins. So yeah, abundance is not just about money, but there's something you're creating that is going to increase your finances, plain and simple, whatever you're doing, whatever you are building, um, as far as your empire, it does feel like it is going to be well received by the public. And it is something that is going to, um, to increase your wealth. Um, a lot of you have been on this slow and steady road. And even with the Knight of Coins here, I'm feeling like things are about to pick up for you because you have been so patient. You have been so slow and steady and not really, um, you know, pressed about timing. You guys have allowed yourself creative freedom and done things at your own pace. And I feel like you're about to be rewarded. I have the Emperor in the reverse. So I do feel like this is an energy of you guys um, releasing control over things you can't control in your life, right? Some of you let go of that relationship that wasn't working or that person that was very controlling and actually holding you back from releasing your creative expression. And so I do feel like any relationship in your life, some of you may not have a great relationship with a father or a father figure in your life. And this person, while your mother may have been very supportive, the father may not have been. So you're no longer taking their criticisms of what you do, your art, your work, something like that. There could be a masculine figure in your surrounding you in May that is a critic, right? Whatever you create, they're always coming up with a reason why it won't work, why it won't make you money, why it's not a real job, something like that. And it feels like you're releasing that person um, and you're staying on your path. Um, the King of Cups in reverse. There is something here about masculine energies probably being um, a little jealous of your success, a little jealous of what you're able to create. Um, I do feel like there's something here about releasing someone who didn't love you the way they needed to and um, dealing with someone else. Um, possibly a Knight of Coins, an Earth sign. Some of you release the Water sign or Aries and you're dealing with an Earth sign now. So that feels like it's working out more for you. This person brings a lot more peace to you for swords here. Also, you guys are getting inspiration from your dreams. Okay. A lot of you, you wake up and you go, I need to draw, right? What I just dreamed. I need to get this. I need to document this. I need to, you know, there's something here about paying attention to your dreams, paying attention to what you are thinking about focusing on. Um, there's art in there. <laughs> there's something going on, right? I do feel like there was a loveless relationship here. Somebody you were dealing with that just, it wasn't working, but you do feel like you have somebody here that it does work with possibly seven of pentacles. Take your time. Okay. The entire month of May, take your time go your own pace there is no rush you guys feel successful as it is yeah you feel successful as it is so you know I just feel like you're content with how things are moving in your life you're not like that type of person that's like man I wish I could be doing more I wish I could maybe if you maybe you do but you're not ungrateful about it so there's something here about slow building your empire um, temperance. Yep. More about patience and moving slow and pacing yourself. This actually feels like it's working out for you. Some of you are working on a big project and you have some masculine energies that were very critical of this. Some of you even have like a king of cups who was like, you're never going to go anywhere, you know, with your art or you're never going to achieve anything. Um, and this may have been a generational thing because they're parent put them down in their dreams so they didn't get a chance to follow their dreams here that is coming through um some of you are moving slow with a Sagittarius you're taking things really slow but it's nice all right it's a very healing relationship it's a very I feel like velvet like it's very smooth and very sort of um, unproblematic, right? You're dealing with somebody who is definitely feeling like they bring this peace um, into your life. So you may even feel more creative because you're dealing with somebody who's not like bugging you all the time or you're not stressing about all the time. The child of fire creative spark is like when you have an idea and you run it past them. This is the type of person that's like, yeah, run with it. Go with that, right? Other people are like, I don't know about that. But you're dealing with somebody who I feel loves that childlike, youthful um, creativity that you have and that you're able to put into the world. And I feel like they're not like 
trying to control that, right? I feel like they're 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 not trying to be like, well, maybe you should do it this way. Maybe you should try this. They're like, do your thing. This person is crazy about you. Two of Swords, and they're sure about you. Two of Swords in the reverse. You're dealing with somebody very sure of you. And you could be starting to feel like you're sure of this person, right? Um, maybe you were cautious. I feel like, yeah, the King of Coins, you're pretty sure now this person is genuine and serious about you. Um, maybe you were a little hesitant to move forward, but there's something about their appreciation of what you do that you're falling in love with. And I feel like the King of Coins is them, you know, proving daily that they're serious, right? They make, uh, you guys are making progress in a relationship, possibly with an earth sign again, um, Taurus specifically, also Capricorn Virgo. Um, you have death. All right. So things are changing in your love life. This person feels like your muse, king of swords. That's you. Um, yeah, you guys are changing. This is you, the king of swords. This is you guys changing how you do things, how you think your creative process is changing. You're growing. Okay. Um, the page of cups in reverse, no more small, no playing, no more playing yourself small, no more doing things on a small scale. You're doing everything big right now. Um, page of cups. We have the <laughs> seven of wands in the reverse. Yeah. You're taking some of those walls down. You want people to see you may have been that type of person that whatever you do, you don't tell people about it or you keep the, you, you keep, um, up some, you, you may feel like you're going to be judged. I did see justice in the reverse. So you may feel like you're going to be judged by people or you may have felt that way. So you don't say what you do, right? Especially for those of you like um, in a taboo career field or something like that. You don't care anymore, right? That's why this person is good for you. I feel like they're helping you bring some of these walls down and be more creative and embrace your creativity. The seven of wands is I don't have to defend everything that I do, right? It just is what it is. You don't like it. You don't like it. But this is my art. This is my song. This is my project. And I believe in it. I don't care if you do. So you're taking down the defensiveness. You're not explaining things to people this month. You're not, you know, accepting opinions this month. I feel like you guys are doing what's best for you. You guys may have a gathering coming up, um, possibly the 3rd of May or the 3rd week of May. There could be a gathering. You're reconnecting with some friends. Let's see why we have the 10 of wind illusion here for Aquarius hmm got a couple all right we have the ace of coins in reverse the eight of wands in reverse and judgment in reverse yeah I feel like you have a lot of critical ass people in your life that that made you not believe in yourself they're not done Okay, I'm just going to say that you guys feel like you're doing well, but those people aren't done criticizing you. This ace of coins in reverse is they haven't changed. They they may have said, I'm going to start over Aquarius. I'm not going to talk about your stuff like that. I'm going to be good. They are not right. The eight of wands is I feel like this person is upset. They didn't follow their passions and pursue their dreams and goals. And so now their goal, their, your, their job is to sort of shit on what you do with the judgment in reverse, being very critical for no reason. Right. And so I do feel like this person feels like somebody who didn't address their own passions and goals. This doesn't feel like a friend. All right. That's why I'm feeling like it's more of like an ex or a, 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 a um, parent because some of you got with an ex um, because of generational stuff. You got with that ex because they reminded you of a father or because they had that same energy of a parent. And that's just what you were used to and comfortable with. Somebody else is showing you a new way to love and a new way to um, receive relationships without that criticism. And so some of you may just be used to that energy. It doesn't feel like a friend. Three of Cups here. It feels like somebody that... Um, you know, it's just like upset that they didn't follow their dreams. You'll know who that person is, right? And so they create these this doubt. They try to sow the seed of doubt within you and create this illusion. And you guys have to be able to decipher, right? What's the difference between reality and somebody's opinion? Because this person likes to make it seem like their opinion is law and that they know what they're talking about and they don't. Because they don't even do what you do. They're probably not even in your field. They can't advise you in any way on how to move forward. And yet I feel like they're giving you advice. Advice that you can't use. Judgment in reverse. Three of pentacles. They have too much to say. They want to be included. They just want to be a part of your success. And so they feel like, okay, Aquarius, this is what you need to do. They want you to be able to thank them. 
<laughs> you know, when you reach the height of your success. Remember when I gave you that idea? Remember when I told you, you know, they'll say something like, um, you need to be able to take criticism. Don't be surprised if you have those types of people in your life the month of uh, May, right? It's not that you can't take criticism. It's that they're not criticizing you. They're not, this isn't a real critique. This is jealousy that they didn't follow their goals. Page of coins, literally, they had the same opportunity that you did. They didn't make good on theirs. So they're trying to make it seem like your opportunities are going to lead to nothing as well with the page of coins. So be very careful about allowing that negativity to seep into your energy because you're creating the month of May. You're creating, you're building, you're doing something good. And this person is trying to feed you lies, page of coins in the reverse. They are communicating to you that um, they can help you or that they can, you know, do something to um, contribute, but they can't. Don't believe them. <laughs> All right. Page of coins. Two of pentacles. Yeah, this person, be careful because it feels like they ha they're having more of an impact on your mindset. Just be very careful about who you listen to in the month of May. That's the strong message coming through, right? Be very secure and content with where you are. Um, I feel like, again, you're pacing yourself perfectly. The lovers in the reverse confirm that a lot of you do have an ex who is still trying to make you feel some type of way about yourself because they don't feel like they have any confidence and they don't like that you're moving forward without them. So yeah, they are trying to sow the seeds of doubt in whatever your creative endeavors are and whatever your business endeavors are. And so you will be challenged in the month of May to find that peace again and to find that security, ground yourself again, because somebody does feel like they get you all bent out of shape. It doesn't feel like it gets into like any clashing or fighting, but this person definitely has the power, at least right now, to... um to manipulate how you feel about your art and your work and what you do. And you have to be very careful not to let them get too far with that. All right. So I'm going to grab a message for you guys. Aquarius. What do we have for Aquarius? What message do they need? You have two. I'll take it. You have voyage. You already have all the answers. Be careful of who you ask stuff of. Like you may be feeling like you're trying to be nice, Aquarius. And you may feel like you are respecting someone in their opinion. And this person flips the script and they turn into like a hater. So you technically have all the answers. You don't really need advice on how to move forward. Do what you're feeling. Do Go with your flow. Spaceship, don't be afraid to sing. This is for you artists, for you singers, for you creatives. Don't be afraid to show your art. A lot of you could do like really innovative art, right? Create these scenes um, that people are not used to seeing. Thing, right. So I do feel like there's something very special about what you do. Not everybody's going to understand it, but it is something that you have to do. The world needs you, Aquarius. OK, so that is what I have for you guys. Thank you so much for um, <laughs> for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And if you are interested in a personal reading with me, check out the details in the description box.